friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today I'm going to take a little bit of tech wrap vinyl and I am going to customize a reusable Starbucks cup. These things make the greatest gifts for your coffee lovers in your life. What I always do is create something like this where a personalized name and then I always just pop the top, put a little gift card in there and gift give it just like this. It's like the perfect personalized small little gift card gift. I never actually like to give just a gift card. I want to do something extra. So that's why I always just do something like this. Now these right here are actually really, really easy to make. So I'm gonna show you how to make the circle, how to size it perfectly to your cup. These cups right here, you just get at Starbucks. They're like $1.25, $1.50. They're fairly cheap and reusable. And then if you take these into Starbucks, they do give you a discount to refill onto your usable cups. So just to let you know that little fun fact. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do is open up a blank window in Design Space. I personally am gonna be using my Cricut Joy for this project. This project, just like any other Cricut tutorial, you can use for every single Cricut. That is the cool thing about Cricuts is that it doesn't matter what brand or model that you are gonna be using, all the tutorials will be the same. The only difference is is over here, you're gonna see my screen says Joy. You want to click that. So if you're doing a maker, an explorer, an extra adventure, you want this to be clicked on the model that you are gonna be using. So for me, I'm gonna be doing Joy. Now, okay, the very next thing you are going to do is we are gonna insert a shape and we are just gonna insert a free circle. Okay, then you're gonna to wanna to grab your cup. Now. If you're using the same exact cup as me, you're not gonna need to do the measurements. I'm gonna give you the measurements as we go. However, if you get a different size cup or a different branded cup or whatever, this right here is going to be different. So I'm gonna show you the steps to do it just in case you end up getting a different size later. I know the cold cups, the reusable cold cups, their logos are a different size. So I'm gonna give you the steps to do this because although I'm using a hot cup today, you're gonna be able to utilize these same steps for any cup that you choose. Okay, so grabbing my hot cup, I am going to take a fabric measuring tape. You're gonna want a fabric one because it's nice and movable because this right here is not a flat surface. You're gonna wanna be able to move this around. It may look like the logo is a perfect circle, but it is not, it's actually oval. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm gonna come up here into this lock screen and I'm gonna click the unlock button. Okay, taking my fabric measuring tape, I'm gonna to go to the width first. And the width, if I start at one side and go to the very left, it is one tick down from two and a half inches. Um, I am just going to round up and I'm gonna to go to 2.5 inches. I'm just gonna press tab. Then going into the height, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. We're gonna to go to the very top and go to the very bottom. And this one like exactly is two and a quarter inch. So from the very top to the very bottom of the thing, it's two and a quarter inches. So this one right here, I'm just gonna put 2.25. Technically we did round up for the the width so let me just round up a little bit for the height too if you know what the exact measurements of two and a half minus a tick is you're gonna put that in there i don't know that and i don't want to do the math for that either so i'm just gonna round up okay so this gray circle that you have here is going to be this logo right here. So everything inside the gray is going to be that logo. So what you wanna do now is we're gonna create that little bar that's around here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go into offset. So for the very first offset, we are gonna create a couple offsets here. For the very first offset, I want it to be kind of on the huggier side of the original circle. So I'm gonna do 0 0.04 and press apply. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the outside ring of our decal. So keeping the dark black one that we have just created, I'm gonna go into offset again. You see this blue line that's right here? Let's just make this bigger. So everything that is in between this black circle and this blue line, that is going to be our decal or what we're gonna cut out and place onto our cup. Okay, when you have the size that you like, we can just press apply. 
Okay, so what you're going to do now is taking this offset, this one right here, let's just change this over to a different color so you can see what I'm doing. So we are going to take this pink circle, shift on our keyboard and also the black circle. With both of them selected, we are gonna come down here and press slice. So you can delete the black circle, you can delete this pink circle. Now what you're left with is what looks like a donut. Okay, you wanna keep that. Technically, we could also delete this circle now because this circle was going to be what's in the inside and we don't need that either. Okay, this funky looking donut is what is going to be reused over and over and over again. So if you have multiples of these cups that you need or you're going to want to do this again for another time, for like another holiday, whatever, you're gonna want to just save this file. So every single time you open up Cricut Design Space and you want to do one of these things, you don't have to do the setup process of making the ring as long as you have the same size cup, this ring fits this cup. Okay, now it goes on to the fun part. That was the hardest part of the entire project. We are gonna move on to the fun part. I swear it's gonna be easy breezy for the rest of the project. This is like the hard part is definitely over. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is insert a text box. So we're just gonna hit that text box. Okay, so very first thing you're gonna do is just put in your name or any name that you're wanting to. I'm gonna use my name today. So we're gonna do it like that. The next thing you wanna do is choose your font. So we're gonna come up here into the font. Uh, you can choose a, cr a Cricut font if you wanted to. I'm gonna stay over in the system font. And you can just at this point choose whatever font that you want. So this font right here is actually a really close match to the Starbucks logo font. So if you're looking for a font that is really similar to that, you're gonna wanna choose the area black. It should just be automatic into your computer. Okay, when you have that done, we're just gonna click out of that. Okay, taking our name, we are going to resize this. Now, I'm a stickler for certain things, one of which is resizing fonts with the correct proportions. Anytime you, res you resize fonts, this right here needs to be locked. Okay, then what we're gonna do is just take this arrow and we're gonna make it smaller. Okay, the size of the font and how we get it perfectly sized into our into our ring. Let me just zoom in so we can see. So let's say the let's take this L. You see how this L like barely is on to the very top and it clearly is getting cut off in the bottom part right here. That's gonna be too big. So let's just make this a little bit smaller. Do you see how now this L right here fits nice and good inside my ring? That's what we want. We want our font to fit nicely inside of our ring. Now having clicked the name, what you wanna do is go up here into curve and we are going to curve this to the right. So we're gonna curve it down. Now it looks like it's getting cut off right here. There's like some spacing issues. So let's click out of that, move my name over just a little bit. Okay, and we still have a little bit of spacing issues here and like right here, like the start of my name, there's a lot of space up top and then my S right here, there's not. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna instead of resizing my name, I'm gonna hover over to the right and you see how that arrow went to the, like a curve, like a, yeah, like a curve. I'm just going to bloop and kind of rotate it just a little bit. Okay, then what you wanna do is insert another text box and now this is large. We're gonna put coffee, tea, whatever, wine, anything you want on there, you're gonna put your name, you're gonna put whatever word you want. Again, same thing, we're gonna resize this did I spell coffee correct? I sure didn't. Now we have coffee correct. And resizing this to where it'll fit nice and good inside of our ring. One thing I would like to note here is that remember we have perfectly sized this ring to fit our cups. So do not resize the ring at this point. You only wanna resize the lettering that you're inserting. Now when we have that, I'm gonna go into curve. Remember how the first time we went to the right this time we are gonna go to the left because we wanna curve it up. Okay, it is the spacing um, on this ring looks really weird, so I'm just gonna click out of it. I'm gonna drag over the coffee. It actually, the very first time I did that, I did really good. I just eyeballed that and did really good. Um, the other thing too is if you wanted to, like the spacing of coffee, you see how the C and the O and stuff like that, it's kind of like weirdly spaced. If you wanted to, you can come up here into letter space 
and we can just make things tighter. You also could do that with a top too. For me, I think I'm going to not do that and I'm just going to press that coffee and I'm gonna leave that to zero. Okay, so the very next thing you wanna do when you have both of your lines done, you wanna select everything, the circle and those two, and those two lines, we're gonna align it to the center. That just makes sure that everything is centered horizontally. Now, when I did that, you can see that like my S and my my S is gonna get cut off and my A is gonna get cut off. So let's just go and click that name and we're just going to move this around just a little bit so it will fit nice and good in there and not look funky monkey. Now the C looks a little weird as well. So we're gonna come up here, click that coffee and we're just gonna rotate this just a little bit until it fits nice and good inside of our ring. I like the look of that, I am happy as a clam. Now what you wanna do is selecting both the lines that you've created. You want to make sure that everything is spelt correctly at this point. Then what you want to do is come down here to combine and then weld. Then what you're going to do is select everything, the now welded names and also that pink ring and we're going to press slice. Okay, you can come over here and delete those letters and then you can also click that one that's right here and delete that. So this is our finished decal. The hard part is now over and now we get to do some fun stuff like put on our decal onto our cup. Seriously, it's that easy. Okay, then what you wanna do is go over here into make and we're just gonna need a little bit of vinyl for this project. Okay, so for this project, I'm gonna be using this like really neat pearlescent, what's it called? Colorful Pearl Tiffany by Tech Wrap Vinyl. This thing is so pretty. You're just gonna need a little bit of it. Okay, most of the time, Tech Wrap Vinyl has like a protective film on it. I don't think that they have a protective film on the pearl stuff. So all I'm gonna do is just take my mat and I cut off a piece of my vinyl and put it on my mat. Now what you wanna do is just press continue. Okay, now it's connected to my joy and I'm gonna click premium vinyl. This is kind of a thicker vinyl and I'm also gonna do more pressure. That just helps with the weeding process. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is just open up my joy and I'm gonna insert my mat inside my joy. Okay, and then all you need to do is on your Cricut, you just press that go button and then the joy will start cutting automatically. Okay, and then all you need to do is press unload when it's done cutting. Now that we have that cut out, I'm just gonna move this and we're gonna trim off all the excess of our vinyl because this right here is leftover and we can save our straps for another project. Okay, using a vinyl weeding pick, we're just going to weed out what we do not want. So this right here, we don't want. And let's just go on the inside and weed out this right here. Okay, so now what you wanna do is go in and you wanna weed out all of your letters. Okay, I am going to leave this A right here. Anything that has like an inside, I'm gonna leave it. I'll show you what I'm gonna do here in a second. I'm gonna leave the O and leave the A. It looks really weird, but just trust the process. Okay, you're gonna want to use some transfer tape. Now, I am using just a piece of transfer tape that I have been using. It is still sticky. Always remember that transfer tape is not a single use item. So if your transfer tape is still sticky, you can still use it. Okay, so with my decal, just like that, I'm gonna lay the transfer tape on top. Okay, this is my brayer that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the hard part of this, not the soft part. So using the hard part, I'm just going to burnish the transfer tape on top of our decal. Now I know that people like to use their transfer tape like this. Do you see how it's not wanting to come off? If we turn this over, if we roll our white away from our decal, do you see how now our decal is wanting to stay onto that transfer tape? Okay, here is the finished decal right here. Now, you'll notice that I still need the inside onlys. I have to cut, take out my vinyl, the A and the O. So when you have it on the transfer tape, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my O and I'm weed out my O. This just keeps the small little things in place on the transfer tape versus wanting to lift off when you're weeding it on the decal backing. This is called reversed 
sweeting. Alrighty, now that I have that done, this is our decal. Look at that, it's all finished, all weeded out, looking nice and good. Okay, we are going to take our cup caddy. If you do not have one of these, you can just use like a couple pieces of towels, like rags, just to hold your cup into place. I would always suggest wiping down your cups with some rubbing alcohol before you do the actual decal. That just removes all your skin oils from that so you get a better adhesion for your vinyl decal. We want to line this up as best as possible. Now, I'm not gonna press my decal down. I'm just going to roll it just to see like, oh, See how I thought I did really good, but over here there's a bigger gap than over here. So then you just wanna keep adjusting this. I, you know, there's not a really a good, easy trick to putting down decals. Honestly, it is just, this is the hardest part when adding your decal is just making sure that it's perfectly aligned. And there's no easy way to do this. Okay, so I like the look of this when I laid this down, like third time's the charm. This looks really good to me. Okay, when you have that done, all you wanna do is just place down your decal and we're gonna do this side too. Okay, now I'm just going to take the hard edge of this. We're gonna rub this onto place. Now, you have to remember that vinyl is not a permanent thing. It can get flaked off. So like washing these, I always suggest hand washing. The other thing too that helps keep these in place is if you were to just take a, a hair dryer and after we take our transfer tape off, what I would suggest at this point is just taking a hair dryer and blowing this just a little bit. That just activates the glue and so the glue becomes more of like a gripper. But otherwise that, always be mindful that vinyl is not like a permanent thing. It's not like a laser engraving. So if you wanted to try hard enough, you could lift this off and take it off. But there we have it, our finished decal. Look at that. This is like a great gift giving thing, you know? You can just put like a little Starbucks gift card in there and then wrap it up with like a scarf. Perfect, look at that. And I love this pearl. It's called Pearl Tiffany is what that tech wrap vinyl is. So cute, I love it. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create, and I'll see you later.